Android Q has updated the Text Classifier API with Smart Reply, New Actions, and Selections based on understanding the meaning of text. Smart Reply supplies short message replies. Suggested actions include deep links for tracking numbers, opening addresses, links, and more. It's automatically used with messaging style notifications. You can add these features to other parts of your app using the Text Classifier API. You can analyze a list of messages to see if there are any suggested actions or replies by calling Suggest Conversation Actions with conversation text on a background thread. This feature is powered by an on-device machine learning model so that text never leaves the user's phone. Now, if users select text, they can get definitions and translations using Smart Selection because of the new Define and Translate actions. Users can retrieve a definition by highlighting the word and selecting the Define option. Similarly, users can translate foreign text by selecting the text and then choosing Translate. If they click on one of these options, it will trigger Action underscore Define or Action underscore Translate. These actions will trigger apps such as Google Translate or Google Search. If your app is a dictionary app or a translation app and you want it to show up in the toolbar, you'll need to make a couple of changes to your app's manifest. First, add an intent filter for android.intent.action.translate or android.intent.action.define. Second, your app will receive the word to be defined or translated using getIntent.getStringExtra intent.extraText. Third, you will be able to present your app's definition or translation through your activity. The Language Detection API helps you identify what language your users are using from over 120 supported languages. It also uses an on-device model. To use this feature, pass a request on a background thread to the API, including the foreign text, and the response will contain the corresponding language. Using conversational suggestion and smart selection can make your app more intuitive and helpful. Check out the documentation in the video description to see how to add them to your app. Make sure you subscribe to the Android Developers channel for more informative and fun Android videos. Happy coding!